LPT, take a video of your loved ones and family, just to have a little memento of their voice and mannerisms one day, you'll be glad you did. My mom almost died two weeks ago. She was in a coma and the first thing I thought was that I regret not talking to her more and that I don't have a recent picture or video. Listen to op. Sorry for your loss. Lost my dad recently and there's not one day that passes by without me thinking. I should have spent more time with him. My mom almost died two weeks ago. Emphasis mine. My bad. Misread your comment. Hope your mom is recovering well. Not my comment. You're on a roll. My father-in-law passed a year ago, and I found one of my wife's old iPhones with some voice emails from him still on them so she keeps and charges it once in a while just to hear his voice. Make sure to back it up. It can fail someday and these recordings would be gone. I found an old video I took after I had taught my two boys how to make rice. The video is of them explaining to me how to do it. My older son took his life a couple of weeks ago. He just turned 15. It's so painful to hear his voice and not be able to hold him. I'm a wreck inside. I don't know how I'm keeping it together but I am. He's a pile of ashes now. We'll have his services soon. And I'm dreading that day. I'm empty. Fuck I'm trying. But I feel so empty. I love you boys. Fuck. So sorry. This applies to pets too. My kitty Bubba had the most unique meow growl, and after he passed, I figured we didn't have any videos of him. I was going through some folders, and I found this video I didn't realize we had link. B slash pgj6 bixkick. The sad part was I played this like 3 to 4 days after he had passed, and our other kitty came running to see him. And it broke my heart even more, because I never considered what she must be going through. Semicolon open bracket. And now I'm crying all over again. Close bracket. Wow woo a cat be like wow we love him. I loved him too. Three enough to get it to two. The same with your pets. Record them sleeping, eating, and other mundane things pets do. People. Take note. You absolutely need to do this. My guy died almost three months ago after a ten month battle with cancer from diagnosis to death. We were only together 14 months. The only photos I had of him were dick pics and the pic he had up on the dating page where we met. He didn't like photos. I was lucky enough to meet his sister at his hospital bedside once. And we became good mates. She sent me a video of him that he had on his phone. From a couple of months before he died. He'd gone away for the weekend with mates. And Theed videoed him messing about in a bumper car at a fair. This 30 second clip is now one of my most treasured possessions. To watch him getting on with his life while he could. Loving life as much as he did. Having fun. To see his much loved face smiling. Laughing. His brilliant grin. The funny faces he used to pull. His expressions. It makes me laugh. And it makes me cry. But it's a perfect snapshot of his exuberance. His charisma. His personality. And it's a lasting testimonial to his strength. Courage and passion for life shining through along with his determination not to let the cancer get to him. I'm extremely jeetful for this 30 seconds of heaven. I feel your pain. Op, I'd kill to find more audio slash video recordings of my late girlfriend. I still sit up at night sometimes. Over a year later. And just listen to a voice email or watch the few videos I have of us. You never really think about this kind of thing until it walks up and punches you in the gut. My dad passed away 17 years ago, so cameras and phones weren't as popular. So I don't have much of his last few years. But I do have old home videos from 30 years ago when my uncle got a camcorder. So I watch them once I'm a while. Luckily, I have more recent footage of my mother who passed away last November. I feel your loss, my father passed away 17 years ago too, 2003 was a bad year for us, it seems, and I don't have almost any pictures of him, no videos, either. Save certain voice emails as well, especially the ones that seem inconsequential. My dad died today, and I'm glad I have a video of him showing me how to make popcorn like he did, 
I'm very distraught and in shock and I saw popcorn at the store and realized I can never ask him to make it for me again betting my eyelashes and being a little shit. I haven't watched it yet but I'm glad I have it. Hey, I'm glad you have that video too. And take your time, you don't have to do things unless you think it'll be helpful to you. Much love and hugs from an internet stranger 3. Story time. When my dad was a teenager, 1970s, he had to interview his grandmother for a class and record it on an 8-track tape. He found the 8-track a year ago, but couldn't find a player. My boyfriend kept his eye out for a while and finally came across one in a pawn shop. Dad played the tape immediately. After giggling at my dad's teenager voice, so squeaky, we all quickly started sobbing. My dad got so emotional hearing his grandmother's voice for the first time in about 40 years. After a bit we started this weird combo of sobbing and giggling simultaneously. My great grandmother's Cajun accent was incredibly thick. And she was explaining her life as a fur trapper's wife. And when Yaskin and you tree are at. Oh lord it a stank. The small clip is the only memento my dad has of her. He recently converted it to a digital file. And played it for his mother and aunts. Hearing their mother's voice again had us all blubbering like babies. My dad is a guitarist. And I have so many recordings of his gigs. And I know one day when he's gone I'll cherish being able to hear him play slash sing me to sleep. I won't have to go as long as they did without hearing my parents voice. I also have recordings of him and my mother playfully bickering. Because wow their arguments after 29 years of marriage are the fucking cutest. On a related topic. When you are younger you will tend to take pics that focus on the activities. When you get older. You will treasure the pics of the people doing the activities. I have tons of boring pics of me rock climbing when I was younger. And precious few of just hanging out with all the people I was with. This is so true. And it's weird what we think is important to capture. That changes later on. Some of my favorite images and videos I have are just pictures of family in the living room or the dinner table. Because that's how we remember them. Not that one time you were at Disney. It's a situation that I always hesitate to do but good idea. I was. Blessed I guess. To have saved some of my mom's voice emails before she passed away. But to be honest, I still haven't listened to them since she passed in Jan of 2017. I'm afraid to. I tried once and started bawling. So I turned it off. I wish I had videos of her. Maybe I do on FB somewhere. Yeah, I'm dating a woman that has kids. She doesn't like taking videos, only pictures. So I've been recording videos of them and their family being together so they can look back at that stuff when they are older. This is great advice and terrible advice at the same time. Seeing videos of loved ones and hearing their voice is really nice. I'll listen to my grandma's voice email every now and then. But these things don't help you to move on. And they don't help you to grieve properly. Or at least that's my opinion. Gonna have to hard disagree on this one. Just because someone disappears from this world doesn't mean any evidence of their existence should. As if that was possible anyway. You won't burn all your photographs of a dead loved one. Would you? Unfortunately we as humans have limited memories. That tend to fade over time. And if someone wants to avoid that. I don't see that as unhealthy to the grieving process. Having the technology to preserve moments of a person's life as they truly happened is a miracle of the modern world. That being said, it never could be a true substitute to having the person still alive. Which is why I don't think it interrupts the grieving process. They're not necessarily supposed to help you move on. I do think there's a line to be drawn. However, I don't know if you have seen the woman playing with her dead child in VR. But I think that's taking it too far. I agree they shouldn't be hidden away or thrown out. But they can prolong the mourning period and make it hard slash impossible to move on with life. My advice is to keep them, but only pull them out once you've grieved and dealt with the emotional turmoil so they don't become a crutch. I've seen that happen and it hurts to realize that instead of reminding of the good times the videos and momentous just brought sadness. I agree that sometimes the videos and photos can just bring in more grief. But only when people cling to them as the only thing they have left. It isn't the only thing you have left. What you have left is the impact that person made on you. 
you can tap in at any time, and remember how it felt to be around them. If they were the sort of person whose presence lifted you up, you can feel that love every time you remember them. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Mayor and Jalau. The clinging to them bitters. Why I recommended what I did. Don't forget those who've passed. But don't take it too far. For sure. My granddad has videotapes of my mum growing up and all his older family members who have now passed. We watch them here and there. Nice to reminisce. I swear I have video of my grandma someplace. On a VHS tape. I had videotaped it with a Sony camera and portable open wheel recorder. And later transferred it to VHS. Trouble is. I never really labeled that tape. Serendipitous threads. Link. Reddit com slash r slash today I learned slash comment slash f9 wp7 m slash to underscore virgin underscore media underscore tasked underscore 10 staff underscore working underscore around slash after seeing slash responding to this post I stumbled upon this story of virgin media going above and beyond to get a gentleman's recording of his wife leaving the message for voicemail I have a video I took of a thunderstorm while I was at my grandma's place you hear her talking with my mom for a few seconds. It's the only video I have of her voice. I also only have one good photo of us together. Since she hated having her picture taken. I wish she was around when I got my camcorder. I would have had so much more audio. Even if it only was her telling me not to film her. I'd like to second this and urge you to consider backing up these type of videos. Leaving them on tape or CD for the next 20 years may not work out. Thank you for this. I've been doing this with grandparents ever since my co-worker lost her grandmother. She's got a great video of her grandmother performing. She was a musician, but wishes she had more videos. There's no excuse today to not video your loved ones. You're probably holding a device capable of recording right now. Ask them to tell you about their childhood their favorite pastime, or just secretly video them cooking or playing with their children, or whatever. My brother died a 3 years ago. He had a YouTube channel he was working to try and grow. Without it, I doubt I'd have audio with his voice. I'll add to this, if you have pictures, or video of someone who's died, send a copy to the family. They're desperate for just one more look. Especially send pictures from some time or place when the family wasn't around and likely wouldn't have the pictures themselves. Been there. When I knew my grandma was dying I videoed her talking to my daughter. Telling her how beautiful and loved she is and I will forever be grateful for that video. My daughter was too young to remember her alive but she will always have that video to know how much her great grandmother loved her. This is like the third time I read this on here in the past two weeks or so. My father died in a car crash last year, and if not for his friend recording him in the car singing I wouldn't have any videos of him. It's something I'll treasure for the rest of my life. The only video I have saved of my mom is her trying to kill a wasp in the house with a can of hairspray and a fly swatter. It's a ridiculous video, but I'm so happy I have it, and definitely wish I had filmed more. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.